What's going on, everyone? So we got news late last night that the Los Angeles Lakers may potentially have this year's draft pick. So the New Orleans Pelicans have the option of taking the Lakers pick this year or deferring it to next year. Uh, and based on the report, the New Orleans Pelicans are expected to defer it to next year, allowing the Lakers to keep this year's pick. Now, could look at this a couple ways, right? One, the Pelicans are kind of taking a little bit of a gamble, right? So the Lakers goal or like vision is to go and get a Trey Young, a Donovan Mitchell, uh, another star to pair alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Uh, if they are successful, you'd imagine the Lakers are going to be pretty good, right? And imagine that the Lakers are going to have a late first round draft pick uh, that could potentially be uh, even worse than this year's pick, right? The other alternative is that the Lakers potentially are worse next year and then maybe the Pelicans get a better pick. That is something that they're kind of hoping for. So again, regardless, uh, the Lakers more likely than not are not going to keep their pick regardless, right? So it, whether the Pelicans take this year's pick or next year's pick, uh, the Lakers if they can, and they can find a star or what they perceive as somebody that's worthy of multiple draft picks, then the Lakers are going to use those picks to go and acquire that player. So next or this offseason, the Lakers would have three first round picks and up to five second round picks along with salary. You know, Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, right? Like they essentially would have everything that they need to go and acquire another star depending on what that star is now personally for me can we get donovan mitchell if we get donovan mitchell to me that's the home run play um they seem to be kind of linked to trey young uh heavy reports are that atlanta is expected to trade one of trey young or dejounte murray the lakers trying to trade for DeJounte Murray this past trade deadline. I think that they'll try to go and push for Trey Young and basically sell the farm. I'm personally not... Look, if the Lakers trade for Trey, cool. I will be pumped. I'll be excited. We'll talk about it. We'll celebrate it. All those things. Because, look, he's a very incredibly talented player. right? His ability to make plays, his ability to score the basketball. My concern is that he's undersized. He yes, can completely control and win you a game by himself, essentially. I've seen enough Trey Young games to where he's just, when he's on, he's up there with the best of them. But I've also seen a lot of Trey Young games where he just completely shoots you out of games. But you got to imagine him with Anthony Davis, that pick and roll action, plus Trey and his age, long term, the longevity, like that would be great. Where Donovan Mitchell, you'd still have him long term, but it's like Trey could be a guy that even post Anthony Davis, you could still build around him and he'd only be, you know, 28, 29, right? Depending on when Anthony Davis leaves. So I get the idea. I get the Lakers vision, the Lakers goal. I know some people are kind of like, you know, oh, we, we need the depth. We don't need the star. To me, it depends on what the complimentary star is, right? Like if you can get the right piece that makes sense for now and the future, personally, I think you do that, right? And you figure out the rest. If you can turn Austin Reeves, DeAndre Russell into, you know, uh, 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 Donovan Mitchell, Right? To me, like that's a home run. Cause you'd have like Donovan Mitchell, you'd have uh let's say Jared Vanderbilt, Rui Hachimura, uh, you know, LeBron James and Anthony Davis with whatever complimentary pieces that you need. At that point, you're you're good. Like if you can't win a championship with that, I don't know what to tell you. Talk about three legitimate superstars, talk about three guys that can take over and control the game three guys that are actually complimentary fits right like one of the big concerns is people look at say phoenix right and it's like kevin durant devin booker bradley beal and the thing is with that three stars is that you have essentially three guys that are in a lot of ways the same skill set particularly devin booker and bradley beal those two guys are nearly identical players 
Right? So to me, it's hard to really have major success with three stars that are essentially the same guy as opposed to three guys that are complementary pieces, right? Where a Donovan Mitchell or even a Trey, right? Because more likely than not, if I had to bet on it, I'd probably say it's Trey Young. Uh, so you're looking at a guy in Trey that if it works, my concern is Trey is just so high usage, such high just on ball rate uh, that how does he match up? How does he pair alongside a LeBron James? But if LeBron James is more willing to play off ball, I mean, Trey is exactly what the Lakers and LeBron James have searched for for years now with Russell Westbrook, DeAndre Russell, Dennis Schroeder the first time. Uh, so if it works on paper and it translates, then, I mean, watch out. Lakers are terrifying at that point, right? But does it translate? Does it work? Those are my concerns. Uh, so just because the Pelicans defer the pick to next season, I don't, again, I, I, I'm not necessarily somebody that thinks that it's going to make an impact either way. Now, I'm sure that there are plenty of players that people would love to acquire, right? Like Lakers will probably be like a middle of the pack pick. My guess is probably somewhere 13 through 18, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, depending again, it depends on where they fall, how things shape up. You still got a couple games and because of just how tight everything is, everything's going to kind of fall into place. So we'll have a better understanding as we get closer to the actual end of the season. But as of right now, uh, it's probably in that range, right? Mid to late teens. Uh, so Lakers, could they find a valuable piece? Could they go and get a quality player? Sure. But in all actuality, they're probably going to do everything they can to trade that pick and go for a more win-now mode, potentially go get that other star. Ideally, again, I mean, in a perfect world, Donovan Mitchell, like that's the, the white whale for me, right? And there have been countless reports that, hey, it's the Knicks or it's the Lakers, that he wants to go to a big market team, that if the Knicks end up bowing out and they don't end up... Uh, going and pursuing Donovan Mitchell, that Donovan Mitchell is going to go to LA and play for the Lakers. So if that happens, that would be brilliant. That would be great. But again, it's one of those things like, if it happens, beautiful. If it doesn't, eh, don't expect it, right? I, it's it's not super, it's not as unlikely as people try to make it out to be, right? Like so many people are like, oh, Donovan Mitchell is never going to happen. Like, I don't know, right? Again, if he really does want to go to a big market, which makes a ton of sense, Right, and it really is the Knicks or the Lakers. The Knicks don't really make a ton of sense for Donovan Mitchell, and Donovan Mitchell doesn't really make a ton of sense for the Knicks. They already have that undersized point guard that is on ball. That's basically a, a version of Donovan Mitchell. Right now, Donovan Mitchell's defense has been fantastic this year. He's been great. He's been like ridiculously good on ball, which is not incredibly surprising like for NBA standards yes it is because he's kind of never been that like elite defensive guy but he came into the league out of Louisville as this elite level guard on the defensive side and then he kind of evolved into that playmaking scoring guard that we know today right so again we'll see don't get your hopes up but if it happens great Trey Young kind of seems to be the guy I say it all the time, like where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Usually when you, you keep hearing the same reports from various sources over and over and over again, usually there's something there. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean that like, hey, lock it in. Trey is going to be a Laker, but it kind of makes sense, right? especially if Atlanta is going to move off a of Trey. Trey is going to have some say on where he wants to go. He's been linked to the Lakers since basically the draft that he was in. Uh, and then on top of that, you you add in like how many teams are in the in the market for a point guard for one and two want an undersized type of point guard that is ball dominant and a liability on the defense side, right? So it's like how many teams are lining up to go trade for Trey? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But again, I do think that this is interesting that uh, the Pelicans very likely could uh, defer to next season. It's not concrete. Again, everything's rumor and speculation until it's actually finalized and the Pelicans say, hey, you know what? 
we want next year's pick, but it does kind of make sense, right? It just depends on how the Lakers unfold, right? Because they're essentially saying that, hey, next year's pick is probably going to be worse than this year's pick, which you never know, could be a possibility. Now, from a Laker fan standpoint, I hope it's not, right? But we'll see. Time will tell. But anyways, always, this is a discussion. Pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Uh, do you think that the Lakers uh, should draft somebody with the, you know, pick whatever it is, 14 through 18, 13 through 18? Uh, do you think, no, use that pick to go and trade for that other star? Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell. Again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. It's me enjoy these types of videos. I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.